Pranešimas skaityti Makau Lietuvos kompetencijų centro vadovė Justės Tasinėnė. Ir jos tema Future of Work. Prašom Justę. Well, uh, hello everybody. It's uh, so nice to see so many faces of people who are thinking of joining the IT world. And as we say sometimes that uh, to the outsiders, the IT world and the IT companies looks like a perfect place to work and have fun at the same time. And we won't argue with that, um, but with the recent world changes, we all understand that we have to constantly evolve. We have to keep up with the fast pace of the world. And of course, in the recent, recent years, uh, the COVID pandemic has changed the way we work drastically. And today I would like to tell a little bit more about the future way of work. So firstly, uh, let me introduce myself. Uh, so my name is uh, Justa Stasinene and I work in the IT sector for around 10 years now. Um, I start, started my career in Barclays in one of the first global big corporations coming to Lithuania. Uh, later on, I continued my career in e-commerce world in US-based company Bazaar Voice. And last year, I joined Mako as a country manager. So, what is Mako and, and what do we do? So, Mako was established in 1994 in Netherlands, and back then, when IT wasn't as popular as now. And we opened up Vilnius office uh, back in 2017, and currently we have around 70 people working for us, and also we have very ambitious goals to grow. Another few Im important facts about the company is that we are Microsoft Golden Partners as well as the Sidecore Platinum. And uh, quite a few years in a row, we are being certified as Mako Company as a great place to work. Well, uh, now talking about uh, the future way of work, um, we have to uh, think a lot of things which are happening these days, in the last years, and all the other things. And some of you thinking about the future, imagine, start to imagine flying cars, human-like robots, or other futuristic stuff. But today, uh, today what I'm going to present to you all is going to be something a little bit more down to earth, but nonetheless very interesting and important. Um, also, we could say that the companies like Google, Facebook, Apple, or any other giant corporations can only say to the world how the nice office should look like, how the people-focused culture should function, and all the stuff like that. And today we're not going to argue with that, but uh, in the last years in Lithuania, we have seen so many other companies, local ones and international ones, who are doing a very great job as well. And, uh, and today I would like to tell you how we are doing uh, that in Mako. So, uh, uh, so in Mako, uh, in Mako we base our work of the future with the core main, uh, four core main values. So the first one is a place to work, then we have the productivity, we also have the technologies and mental health as well. And uh, before we dig a little bit deeper into one and each of them, it's very important to understand here one thing. And that thing is the people we are working all together. And this is actually the first time in the contemporary history that we have four different generations working in the same office space. So what does it mean? It means that we have f uh, different people, very different people, with a different habits, different things they like, different working hours, and so on, and so on. And I can give you like thousands of examples here. But, uh, but let's see some of them. So well, example number one, millennials. More than half of the millennials really like working from home. And then on the other hand, we have more than 40% of uh, Gen Z generation who say that while they work from home, they feel that their productivity is decreased highly. And we also have the same Generation Z who says that they don't really feel comfortable while doing the fixed uh, 9 to 5 working schedule. And then on the flip side, we have the baby boomers who say that they really want to work 9 to 5 because this helps them to plan their, the, the last of their working days and the hours accordingly to what they want to do. So with all that said, 
What I want to say is that uh, we all have to understand that we work with different generations and therefore different co therefore companies have to adapt and see pretty much what's the best for their uh, employees. And let's go now to the first one and it's a place to work. So talking about the place to work, let me show some numbers to you. So. In Macaw, in the offices before the COVID started, we had around 70% on the employees coming to the office. And after the COVID hit, we had only 27% of the employees coming to the office weekly. So what does it mean? It means that people got used to working from home so much, they don't really want to come to the office anymore. So what, what do we do about that? It means that each company has to understand that and they have to adapt. And we have a solution here in Macaw. So we understand that our employees, they have to feel as comfortable working at their homes, home offices as they do while working in the office. And therefore, each Macaw employee has an amount of 500 euros to spend on anything they need just to feel comfortable while working at home. For example, it can be a chair, a monitor, table, or anything else they feel that they really wanna, uh, wanna have in their workspace. And now when we have our workspaces ready, let's go to the other important value, and of course I'm talking about the productivity. So uh, while working from different areas, these, these type of habits impact people's productivity highly, and let's see some data. So some research data show that while we work from the office, we usually work up to 62, 60, 63% of our time. The other time we spend chatting with our colleagues, drinking the coffee, or like we do in Vilnius office, we really like to play FIFA on the Xbox. And then we, when we go to the remote working, uh, the productivity increases to 82%. So, so what, what does it say? The people say that they, they get way less uh, distractions, they can concentrate better, and so on and so on. So, you know, with these numbers, we could think like, so let's lock up all the offices and let's all work from home, and that means that we will be super productive and achieve so much. But, well, that's not going to work. And the main reason why is because people hate monotony which means that people don't like to work from the same space all the time. And seeing these changes in the last year, for us in Macaw, the most important thing here is for our employees to have freedom to choose. Uh, as an example, myself personally, I like to go to the office because uh, I like to see my colleagues, I like to feel, speak to them face to face and stuff like that. And sometimes I like to get a little bit more of extra sleep, so I decide to work from home. And sometimes during the spring and autumn, I really like to go and work from the Lithuanian seaside. It's just because it's, I feel that this is the best way for me to rejuvenate and it's just very good for my emotional well-being. So pretty much the idea is to work from everywhere you want and you should have also freedom to choose. So this is how we base our workplace in Macaw. And of course, the other important thing, as we say in Macaw, is work from anywhere you want, anytime you want, but you have to have a good internet connection. Um, yeah, so um, now we have another uh, topic uh, talking about the productivity, and the productivity is, of course, impacted by so many different factors. And I can give you multiple examples, but uh, from my understanding, there is one which actually makes the most sense, and it's privacy. Everybody really liked work the way he or she is used to, to the rhythm they are used to, and of course, all of us sometimes will like to scroll down the Facebook, just see some photos on Instagram, or just go through the news portal and see what is happening in the world without being seen or judged. And therefore, pri privacy is a really important topic when we are talking about the open spaces environment because when we are in open space, we do feel that we lack the privacy. And therefore, again, from our opinion, the most important thing uh, for our colleagues and employees is to have a possibility to choose where they want to work from. And 
Well, now I would like to go in a little bit more fun topic, I guess, for you all. For you all. So it's the technologies. And I'm not going to be talking about robots bringing us coffee or any other funky stuff like that. But what I wanted to talk to you a little bit today is the technologies we work in, in Macaw. <laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> And uh, we do love our technologies, definitely. And uh, as I mentioned before, uh, uh, Macaw is the golden partner of the Microsoft and the platinum partner of the Sitecore. And you might be thinking, what is that Sitecore? Well, Sitecore is not a platform which is commonly used in Lithuania. So Sitecore is a digital software used by global organizations all around the world to create a digitalized personal experience as well for their users. And the other interesting uh, platforms which we are working here in Macaw is uh, Microsoft Power Apps. So this is the technology which kicked off around four years ago as a really easy way to, to build apps. And also, just to, just to sum up, you know, all, all, all these facts, they show that um, the technologies are super important for Mako, and, and this is the reason why, is while working with the different generations, we already have four gener uh, two generations who grew up with the smartphones and with social media. So in order to attract new talents, in order to retain the people we have, to keep them motivated, to, uh, for them to feel that they are constantly developing, we have to have the newest technologies. Because otherwise, people these days, they get so easily bored, and if they are not motivated, if they don't feel that they evolve every, evolve every day, they will just simply find a better place. So therefore, in Macaw, we really try to keep up with the technologies. And, well, now talking about the last one, definitely not the least one is the mental health. This is the topic which has been stigmatized for years in Lithuania. Well, and in general, uh, emotional well-being uh, of a person has been left aside for ages now. And only the COVID pandemic actually showed the situation. So, in, in, in our opinion, uh, if the person is not well, the company has to do everything to help them. Because, well, it's pretty obvious that if employee is not well, uh, he or she will be way less productive and that will cause dissatisfaction and in the end we might lose our colleague. So here in Macaw, uh, we started uh, giving our employees as a benefit a free therapy, which means that whenever we see that one or the other colleague is not feeling well, uh, we encourage them to talk, uh, to use this option, and we only do the, and we not only do that when we see that situations are really bad, we really encourage people to use this possibility uh, pretty much all the time. And also the other uh, few ways we are trying to improve our employees' well-being is having uh, monthly lectures about the health, physical activity, mindfulness, and all the other things which could help us, our employee, to feel better emotionally, physically, and just to feel that they are in the place where they actually belong. And, well, here are some facts that uh, in these days, people tend to care more and more about their emotional well-being. And also, from the recent survey done in the US, uh, when they were talking with the people who are thinking about quitting the job, the people were asked, so what are the main reasons you are thinking about doing that? And one of the top reasons were that they, uh, they don't really have work-life balance, they feel that they burned out, they feel that neither their manager, their company, or anybody else uh, see that they are not well and they are not giving the care they need. So therefore, in Macaw's opinion, every company in the world should, should have this, this benefit and it should pretty much become business as usual. And well, uh, we pretty much covered all for uh, work, uh, work future values and just quickly to summarize, now, we are all living in the IT world, which is constantly, every day, evolving, changing technologies and all the other exciting, exciting stuff. And therefore, if we want to make our employees happy, we have to keep up. And this is what we are also trying to do in Macaw. Because uh, Macaw, for us, 
it's not just a place where we go to work every day. Macau is a, is a community. Macau is a friendship. The relationships is the people we meet at work and we spend the time after the working hours. So we are like a family here and therefore we, we need and we must, and this is what we are doing to, to make sure that our people are happy and make sure that they are well taken care of. And uh, the last question, is it working? And the answer is yes, because this year Macau Lithuania got great place to work certified and, and already 93% of our people said that we are a great place to work. So, well, uh, thank you everybody for listening. I really genuinely wish all of you the best. Uh, good luck into your search of your uh, dream path in the IT world. And yeah, I might see some of you in Macau one day. Thank you.